Hey guys, in today's video, I wanted to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to create a Google business page for your business. In today's day and age, it's especially important to make sure that your business is on Google because it still is the world's number one search engine and you want to make sure that your potential customers and consumers have a way of finding your service business or your store online when they search up for it. So that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So let's get right into the video and step number one is going to be to create a Google account if you don't already have one so most people already have this they already have a Google or Gmail account but if you don't you're gonna want to create one even if you already have a personal account you may want to make a separate account just dedicated to the business so this way you don't mix your personal email with your business listing so what you're gonna do is go to accounts.google.com and then from this page you're going to create a new account so you click create account and then you go for work or my business and then you enter your first and last name as it asks you. Then you're going to enter all your information as it asks. So here is where you're going to create your own Gmail address that is relative to your business if you don't already have one. Now once you have that account set up, you can set up your business. So this page is going to load up and then you're just going to click continue. And this brings you to business.google.com. So over here, you're simply just going to enter the name of your business. Step three is to choose your business type. So the three business types here are online retail, local store, and service business. Online retail is where consumers can purchase products through your website online. A local store is where you actually have a physical location that customers can visit you in person. And a service business is where your business actually goes to visit the consumer to provide the service that you are offering. So you're going to choose whichever one best applies to your business, or you can also select multiple if they both apply. For example, if you're a service business that visits your consumers, but you also have a physical location, then you could select both a local store and service business. Most businesses either operate as a local store or a service business. So I'm going to show you how to proceed with both business types. So let's say you have a local store and some examples of this could be a restaurant, a barbershop, a clothing store or anything of that nature you're going to click next so for here you're going to enter the business category that most aligns with the product or service that you offer so for me that's obviously going to be real estate agent but for you it may be hair you're going to see options come up as well so you're going to pick whichever one best aligns to you so since we went with the local store option, you're going to enter your business address and then Google is going to create a pin for you that's going to be on Google Maps as well. And it will always serve as a way for consumers to know exactly where your business is located. So over here, you're going to enter your phone and website. So I'm going to put the info of my brokerage, but you're going to put the phone and website that you want people to contact and click on to find out more about your business. So this next page asks for a phone verification. But before I do that, I'm going to show you what to do if you select the service business that many of you may be so you're going to enter a business category again so now instead of selecting a specific physical address you're going to enter all the areas that are within your business's coverage area so you're going to enter whichever areas are realistic that you could cover so instead of displaying this as a pinpoint location google is going to display this as a radius to show the consumers which areas are within your coverage similarly you're going to enter your phone and website so this brings me to the next step which to step four verification so over here they're asking for phone verification where they will send you a text with a code and you just need to enter that code to verify your account now this is a simple way of verifying but google also has several other methods to verify so if you need help with that at all i'll leave a link in the description to how to verify based on what google is giving you so now we're fully verified and the next step is step five and that's to complete your business profile so the first thing that we're going to do is add the services that we provide as a business and they're going to give you a bunch of recommendations but you can also add custom services if you don't see what you like over there next you're going to add your business hours so you could slide any of these days from close to open and then enter what time you open and what time you close next they're going to ask you if you want to add messaging where customers can message you directly from your google business page and this is going to be default on but you could slide it on or off depending on what you want if you don't want to have them be messaging you directly from google and you don't feel like you could answer them and you don't want to make for a negative customer experience then you're going to slide it off otherwise if you do want them to be able to contact you from there as well then you'll accept messages 
Next, you're gonna add a business description where Google will give you 750 characters to describe what your business is and the services that you provide. Next, Google is gonna allow you to add photos of your business, and this is where you could display things like your storefront, products, or results from some of your clients that you've helped. This is a great visual representation of your business, and it allows consumers to actually see the quality of your work. So it's very important to add some photos. So you're gonna click on add photos, and then you're gonna drag your photo or browse to find one on your computer. So I'm just gonna add one for the purposes of this video, but you should add as many photos as possible, and you should also update with continual photos of your work so that consumers could see that you are active in the business and keep up with your results. So next, Google is gonna ask you if you wanna claim a free advertising credit, which you could look into or you could just skip. So now we entered all the information and it will be visible once we're verified. So we're gonna click continue. So now Google will direct you to this My Business page where they give you a brief summary of your listing and you also have a dashboard where you could play around and edit certain things as well with your website. Your page is not publicly visible until it is verified. So right now for me, Google is in the process of verification since I went through that step. If you skipped it, then you still need to do this before Google displays your business page. All right guys, so there you have it. This is how you create a Google business page. So if you enjoyed this video and found value for it don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more content just like this and as always i'll see you in the next video